So we're heading off to catch our bus. We can go and do the Golden Circle tour today. Uh, we would have been able to do it ourselves, as it turns out, because the roads look fairly clear. Um, we could have done it in our vehicle, but instead we're going on a tour. So we're going up to Thingvellir National Park. We're going to uh, Giza, Shoka, where else? Gulfos, the waterfall. In fact, the capital of Iceland is the two words put together. Reykjavik, Smoky Bay. The infamous Eyjafjallar Jokul, right? That one, the one that made all the news anchors have nightmares for at least three months because they have to learn it. Hopefully we're going to see some sunrise by 11 o'clock. So in one hour, we expected to have a sunrise. And by four o'clock, which is only two, four, six hours of basic sunlight that we can have. So this is thing Fetley National Park. Going around the gap between the tectonic plates between the American and Eurasian continents. The site of the first national parliament in the world. So that's my train set. Okay. Just cut, you can see where it's forced up and shows like we saw at the Giant's Causeway. Not not as well defined, but it's like there, there's reminiscent. Like a v shape. Yeah. Kind of and that's almost square, that bit. Not in the mood to walk down there, slip down there. So, here we go, a bit of wind sport. Oh, shades of Brazil. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Crack. <laughs> they were filming Game of Thrones somewhere there on the left side. There was someone going with someone to see someone, and then they told them she's not there. <laughs> so, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones, you can go some location without spoilers. And then, here, look, this is our legendary Sonic Forest. Look at that. <laughs> big, massive trees, <laughs> Icelandic birch, and other things. Well, I'm, just, I'm just sliding around. It's really slipping. I'm really impressed with this. I've never seen a bus like this. Look at that. Look at them wheels, man. <laughs> That's brilliant. Jeez. Snow chains. That's hardcore bus, that is. And I'm on the floor. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh. <laughs> That's why you need wheels like that. That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> this buff is so covered in snot. Because <laughs> okay. we're running up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, Golfos. That's 
lovely looking waterfall. I'll tell you what, Al, that is gorgeous. Bit icy, isn't it? It's a bit. I've turned over it. You have twice as great. They really aren't kidding. This slope down it's close to the edge here I actually slipped just down there in the center where that that thing is yeah, you wouldn't have got a cliffhanger from me I would have just been gone 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 Probably as pure as it gets. Lovely fur. You know, I mean, here they're very realistic. So, like, well, it's the best thing that you can use for the conditions. You know, very 1970s. Only one warning uh, stay on the mark. If you venture off into the middle of nowhere, you know, all those who wander. So, here we are at Gaza. Where all the geysers and geysers and what have you are. No. So it's melted all the ice and snow. You can actually see the ground at last. The water looks really clear. It's probably full of sulphur and warm. So it's 80 to 100 degrees C there. It bubbling away in the pools. So this is really interesting actually, the background is lovely. I don't know how it's showing up. Lots of people here but for all the spouts coming up everywhere. And I guess they're, they're almost like mini volcanoes some of them. This is just a mineral deposit. And is that green mm -hmm. stuff you're talking about? Yeah, you can about. touch it as well. It's quite yeah. warm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's you can feel warm. that it's... Because it always nice rings, thing. like you see the fresh ones coming in now. Yeah. So this is quite a nice one here. It's such a beautiful location and really quite stunning. You know, you've got the snow, and then it stops. Little patches, little rivulets, and the water, and the steam. Now we're just waiting. If you can see, if you've got a large enough screen, you can probably see that that's bubbling away in the middle there. A nice clear view. Just got to wait for it to go. It's about five minutes or so in between eruptions. Wow. It's great, and it's just like that, that light aqua colour in the middle. How awesome. And I don't know how high that went, but that was... I was high.
So we're going to wait another five minutes for it now. So I'll just stand here and uh, actually I'll move a bit further up and see if I can get one behind me. Thanks for fucking up our video. Ah, it's a little one. That's a smoky one, isn't it? Hmm. So it come right in our face. So this is the original. This is Gaze here. Or Gazier, or Giza, depending on which part of Iceland you're from. No longer erupts, but this used to be the one. So this is the top of Giza, now dormant with very rare eruptions. Looking down, you've got this beautiful red earth, green grass, more steam, you've got sulphur. Cracks, crevices coming right round. Well, that's brilliant. Watching these go off is absolutely fantastic. My advice is when you go up the hill, go to the left, go around, you'll see it scooped out a bit on the left hand side, then you can see the whole boil. Beautiful, it's beautiful aqua colour. It's where I was initially. Um, everywhere else is a lesser view, but I'll tell you what, you've got to come here. It's really worthwhile. Finished the tour, haven't we? It was a good tour, wasn't it? Yeah. But we haven't seen enough new things, have we? So we're going somewhere I've never been before, aren't we? Yeah. We are going to a recommended restaurant. This is the most popular restaurant, most popular place to eat in in um, Iceland, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Families come five to six times a year on average. I kid you not, guys and girls, and I've never been to an IKEA. I nearly got to one once and blew my mini up, which saved me more than the engine would have cost to replace. IKEA for dinner. I've never been to Ikea, I've never eaten in Ikea, I've never thought to eat in Ikea. So you get your tray, do you? You get your tray, you get your, tray, your Ikea tray. This is top tip, top tip is come here to Ikea. That might be a smoke. Red that with that stuff. Is hanger cotty. I don't know. What is this stuff? I've gone for 15 of their famous meatballs. I've no idea what they're like. And I've gone for malt and orange juice, which is a festive thing Piggy was saying about. Al's got the smoked lamb, yeah. which is what we're here to try, with peas and potatoes and some weird sauce. Red and cabbage. Red, red cabbage. cabbage. So it looks good. So these are the famous IKEA meatballs that everybody raves about that I've never had. And I won't ever bother with it again. I think they're very nothing. It's like cheap frozen meatballs, just crap. And gravy is not even a, a tomato sauce, and I'm not in Sweden, so what's the point? Right, now we're going to go walk around IKEA, which I've never done, um, but we can do it with impunity because, of course, there's no way we can take back any flat pack furniture from here if we could even afford anything. So that's good. We can, we can safely go around IKEA. 
Oh, but look, says Al, fish ice cube tray. That's quite cute. It probably won't work. But it's cheap. It's only 245 <laughs> things. Why is it so far away from home? Look, stainless steel trivet. Look at that. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I need IKEA in my life. I'm loving it. And I've only just walked in. I've found three things already that I want, I crave. Oh my God. Heavy based, chrome plated, small pancake pan. Look at that. For the, for the camper van. <gasps> Look at that. And it's only 15 quid or so. It's, it's amazing. Look at this. That. This place, this place is a palace of joy. <gasps> look at the size of this chopping board. Look, and stuff doesn't go off the end. Oh, look, look, you can hook it off a countertop and stuff won't go off the end. That is amazing. And this one, this, look. God, I could slice some stuff on there. Right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put this phone away because I'm just having too much fun, and I'm gonna miss things if I keep filming. I need this to... is a palace of joy, Alison. Thank you. Me. Can we go to another? When we go home, can we go? Let can we take the van? Let me actually show you something quite cool. Okay, but can we take a camper van? Can we go and visit a proper? Like yeah. Wow, look. Have, the, have you seen the dish rack? Uh, look, plate racks, and this one. Look. Look how cool that is. Look at that. And they slide out. They literally, they, sl they slide. I'll get another angle on that. There, look, look, look. So you just keep it on the shelf. It's be good in my lounge. That would save so much space. But what I do want to know is what a sex scuffer is. <laughs> YouTube, answers on a postcard. Sex scuffer. Oh, damn it. This, this, is, this is better than a Northern Lights tour. We should have come on this every night. Finally got our, our hot dogs. Hot dogs with everything. So you've got yeah. raw onion and you've got crispy onion. I have crispy onion. What's that, Jack? Mayo? Yes, yeah, so that's mayo and mustard and ketchup. Gotta load it on. Look at that. Weird brown mustard. Whoa. That's just amazing. Put it in the hot dog holder, Alison. Look, hot dog holder, can you believe it? This is the best. You can try it. Yep. Haha, <laughs> photo hot dog. Mm -hmm. So this will be our stunt hot dog for the videos, and then we can go back and buy a second one. No. Hmm. Hmm, I'm supposed to be them. Mm. Good. Mm. I put crispy onion on them at home. But I've never done it with a raw onion, always do it with fried onion. See, nice, and this is a national snack. As approved by Bill Clinton and as we learnt today, Angie Harriet. Mm.